Welcome to my workshop. In this video I'm going to build a trolley for my son's horn. Recently my son has picked up playing the horn and on some days he has to take it to school together with his school bag. Both together are a bit heavy for him to carry so I came up with the idea of building a trolley for the horn so that he can pull it behind him. I had to build it on a somewhat tight schedule because it had to be finished on a certain day and there wasn't very much time beforehand so some solutions are the ones that are okay within the given time frame but possibly not the best solutions that could be thought of. If you want to see how I built that I'd appreciate if you stick around.
I'm quite content with how this turned out and my son also likes it very much, which is great. Still, there are a couple of things that I learned on this project and that I'd like to share with you. First, um, I had some pretty bad tear out when sawing these cuts here um, because I wanted the clean surface to be on this side so I used the jigsaw blade um, to pull in this direction and I put some masking tape on this surface and I thought I could prevent the tear out with that. But this surface of the resin coated plywood is a little structured so it's not exactly smooth and that prevented the, t the masking tape from sticking very well. So it didn't stick very closely to this and it didn't prevent the tear out at all. As you can see here, it really is some pretty bad tear out. I had to cover it a little by just using the black paint from the rims here and putting it on there so that the color contrast is not that big but it's still very clearly visible which is not so great. Another thing that I learned is with this handle, um, I had to um, saw it with a jigsaw because I don't have a bandsaw. And I used a curved blade to cut those corners, I used forstner bits to cut those big holes in these corners here, but um, the, the curved blade of the jigsaw really bent away in the corners, so um, I didn't get a 90 degree angle in these two surfaces. Um, with a bandsaw, of course, that would have been much easier, but I don't have one. And if I had a spindle sander, I could have easily corrected it afterwards. I don't have that either. So I used the file, which was quite a lot of work and which resulted in something not really perfect, but alright. Since my time also was limited, I couldn't spend all night working on this. So, um, yeah, basically it was the best I could come up with under the given circumstances but I really I would have appreciated having a bandsaw um, which probably would have made this much easier. Um, I thought a lot about the geometry of this and I took the measurements of my own hands and thought okay if my own hand can fit in comfortably then my son's hand can fit in too and that actually worked quite well. He finds the handle very comfortable to grab and I sanded it down to 240 grit and gave it two coats of boiled linseed oil which makes the whole thing very smooth through the touch and very comfortable. Um, as you can see the radiuses of these corners out here and the inner corners are different. That's also something I only realized afterwards. So the next time I'm going to do such a handle I'll probably make a draft in, the, in, in SketchUp or in some other drawing program in which I can easily control the radiuses so that this inner radius and the outer radius are the same. This way I have it now, it's, it looks a bit different. It's, it's not exactly bad, but you can see that the radiuses are different. But after all, it's a functioning thing, it's, very well, it's working very well, and my son likes it, which is the main thing. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, if you share it with your friends, and if it's your first time here, if you perhaps subscribe to my channel. It's always very motivating to get that kind of positive feedback. So I hope to see you back soon. Bye-bye.